Emmanuel Navarrete versus Robson Consaseo coming to you live November 16th from Las Vegas, Nevada. Emmanuel Navarrete will be stepping into the ring with a record of 38 and 1 with 31 knockouts. Navarrete is also the more experienced fighter between the two, coming into this fight having fought 20 more fights. And in those 20 fights, Emmanuel Navarrete has accumulated 99 more rounds fought than Robson Consaseo. Emmanuel Navarrete has also won his last five fights, winning three of those by knockout, and two of those fights went to the scorecards. Now, the last time that we did see Emmanuel Navarrete was back in August when he defeated Oscar Valdez via unanimous decision. And previously before that, we saw Emmanuel Navarrete secure a ninth round TKO over Liam Wilson. However, in that fight, Emmanuel Navarrete came out very, very flat and was put on the canvas by Liam Wilson. But Emmanuel Navarrete had to dig deep to get himself back into this fight. And he did so in a very impressive fashion, going on to stop Liam Wilson in round number nine. Now, let's look at Emmanuel Navarrete's dance partner. Robson Consaseo will make his ring walk with a record of 17-2, and two, with eight of those wins coming by way of knockout. Consaseo has beaten two of his last five opponents, and it probably would be three of his last five opponents, but his last bout was ruled a no contest after... Mick Polanco suffered a headbutt and mysteriously got disoriented and could not continue to fight. Consa Sal did lose two fights to Shakur Stevenson and Oscar Valdez, respectively, and both of those fights were lost by unanimous decision. Now, in terms of activity, you know, recent activity between both of these fighters, they are pretty much dead even. Slight edge goes to Robson Consaseo, but both of these fighters are, are fighting on average six months. Every six months, they're getting into the ring, so there's really no advantage either way, and if it was, it would go to Robson Consaseo. But when it comes to quality of competition, that's when we start to see a difference in this fight. Emmanuel Navarrete has been in the ring with the likes of Liam Wilson, Eduardo Baez, Joette Gonzalez, Ruben Villa, and Isik Dogbo. Now, Constantino has no slouch for a record himself because he has been in the ring with some of the greats in his division, such as Shakur Stevenson and Oscar Valdez. Also, he's been in the ring with Xavier Martinez and Jesus Amara, who both, you know, both of those two he beat. But, you know, the big names on his resume are Shakur Stevenson and Oscar Valdez, one of which is on Emmanuel Navarrete's record, who is Oscar Valdez. So when it comes to quality of competition, the edge is going to have to go to Emmanuel Navarrete. As for my prediction for this fight, the stats suggest that Emmanuel Navarrete has a major power punching advantage over Consasal, boasting an 82% knockout ratio compared to Consasal's 47% knockout ratio. But Robin Consasal has proven to be game in big fights he just hasn't won the big fight yet and in order for Consasau to get the victory against Navarrete he will have to put on the performance of a lifetime and with that being said I'll just go ahead and give you our prediction here at Rounds Boxing Club we're taking Emmanuel Navarrete to defeat Robson Consasau and 
we will go ahead and step out on a limb on this one and say Emmanuel Navarrete will stop Robson Constanceal anytime after the sixth round. Drop down in the comment section and let me know what you guys think about this fight, who wins and why. Also, follow us on IG at Rounds Boxing Club. We do appreciate each and every last one of you for watching. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And as always, like, subscribe, protect yourself at all times. We out. Peace. I'm Hurricane Peter McNeely from Medfield, Mass. Please subscribe to my good friend here, Rods Boxing. Or oh, I'm going to kick your ass. Rods, Rods Boxing Club.